Welcome back boys and girls to another edition of You Know Nothing on the Balls Up YouTube channel. Wet Willie. Two points of business. That, how, that wasn't even wet. Yeah, well. How dry is your mouth? <laughs> oh wait a minute. Yes it was. It's burning in now. <laughs> there it is. That is disgusting. Two points of business before we carry on. Ooh. Dave Jackson has had to leave the facility. Dun, dun, dun. Right at the last minute because corporate. a corporate event come up and he just can't help himself. He loves them. Yeah. Yeah. Loves a corporate event. Loves to network. Absolutely loves a corporate He's probably got a nice little flute of free champagne yeah. in his hand right now. Just chatting around. Talking. Business card. Business card. Just, I'm Dave Jackson. Just, just throwing out business out. cards. Talking to everyone about Richmond Park. Just dishing them out Absolutely like Jesus to the 5,000. Someone just come and said, do I know you from Hounslow? And he run a mile trying to pretend he's never been there in his life. So the big man, Savile Berry, has stepped into the fray, ready to go. AKA the whitest black man on YouTube, as, as per the comments last week. But him. it's not true. Big man by name, big man by name. Are you going to act real road yeah. man in this? Is that why you've got a tight t-shirt on to show off these like guns? Look at the guns. There's no need to act black or white. Do you know, do you know what? I'm actually going to say this. I can't remember the name of the person it was, but I took offence to that. Social fluidity. That's what it is. Social, social. I respect that. There it is. Now, sorry, this okay. is the whitest fist in the history of YouTube. The camera's like burning it. through it. It was an intentionally white fist bump. Yeah. Do you know how you do it in a row? Is it? No, it's that. You got you got to do it in that. embarrassing, yeah. Well, I started this by saying there's two parts of business. We've covered one. Dave Jackson's not here. We need to cover a second. Last week in the quiz, we want to give a shout out to all the Australian fans we have. <laughs> Because a mistake was made. Oh, it was. A question was asked. For the Barbie, Dave, you've let yourself down, your family down, and everybody in Australia down. The point of business. Last week we had a question that said, which country was Tony Abbott the president of? Mm. Two mistakes were made. He was a prime minister, and he's not in power at the moment. Mm -hmm. It was Australia. We got that bit right. But he's a previous prime minister of Australia. Okay. No research. Sometimes we make mistakes. Mm. We're not and that I, professional. And I let it all fall on my head. Yeah. It's fine today because I'm wearing a hat. Because the barnet is all over the place. Also, who's whoever said one day I'll drop the iPad? Not going to happen. Oh, treats. Yeah. Are you boys ready for five quizzical rounds of absolute madness? Let's do it, big man. On this late afternoon. Let's do it. Well, evening. That evening. was the longest intro ever. <laughs> Spitting chocolate chips everywhere. Spitting chocolate chips all over the place. Dominant. Let's get ready with round uno. Round one, as always, is the guess who round. I can feel the eyes. I wasn't even looking at it. The guess who round, the boys are given three clues to guess a celebrity submitted every week by you guys down below in the comments. Indeed, yo. If you get it on the first clue, they get three points. Yeah. Two points. On the second, one point on the third. Okay. On the buzzers, chaps. Your first clue for your first guess who of the day. <laughs> I played in the 1966 World Cup final. Savile Berry is gone. Nobby Styles. There's no way. It's 3 0. Oh my god! Come on! Come There's on! A, okay. There's going to be a disclaimer here. There's got to be. I know why he's got it. Can it's I just say before, can I just... Sav stepped in at last minute today yeah. to replace Dave. Okay? Sav wasn't supposed to be in the quiz. Do you know who submitted that? Miss Lucy Berry. Conspiracy. The mother. So can I just say? Can I just say what say? we're gonna do here, we're actually gonna drop in Robin from all time conspiracies to review this piece of information. You're not paying me enough, mate. Yeah. One thing I will actually say is that growing up, he was like my favourite footballer. Not because he was good at football, it's because he didn't have any front teeth. I just thought he was a bloody legend. Do you know what I mean? He was just, he wasn't even that good. And he just loves anything to do with knobs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even worth it. <laughs> so a very grey area starts with the quiz. Sav takes the three points. I would have got it. Sav's mum commented it. Yeah, not as if it's just Sav's second account and he's commenting Nobby Styles on every <laughs> video because he's obsessed with the man. Just, co just commenting <laughs> Nobby Styles. Nobby, <laughs> Nobby, Nobby Styles. Just on irrelevant videos. <laughs> <laughs> your second guess who of the day, boys, and your first clue is for three points. I was born 24th of July in Croydon, London. Also from Sam's cousin. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, what are you going for? Stormzy. Now, is it actually? It's split six points. What's going on? Have you been reading through? I swear my mum's life I haven't. Big up you, Lucy. Listen, 
The reason I know that is because, shout out to Simon Medley, my brother, went to school with Stormzy in Croydon. So, potluck, Literally, guess. The, the whole family is getting a shout out today. Class, I'm six nil down. <laughs> it's six nil <laughs> after And two thank you very much to Dan Brown for sending in Stormzy in the guest yes, room. Danny. Thank you very much. Six nil, can you regain something, Joseph? Probably not. Let's he, see. He, would, he wouldn't have got that if he said his name is Storms. He would be like, uh, I don't know. I would have. I would have. I would have too. Big anything. Mike, I really know my black history. Hey, mad. Black history. <laughs> wow. Boom. Your third guest of the day, the first crew for three points. Boys, I was born 1985 in Stevenage, Hertfordshire, England. Hang on, if he gets this, this is mental. 19 what? 1985. I'm gonna go. Lewis Hamilton. Shut up! There's no way you got that right. That's 9 0. <gasps> Sorry, what, what's going on? <laughs> I'm not Are you up. mad? Hey, on the level, I'm being so serious right now. They, they were all guesses. Right, are you ready? <laughs> I'm not having it. And what's that? I hear Robin's turning up again. <laughs> I'm hard at work on Stalin and the mystery of the Doctor's plot. All time conspiracies, go check it out, it's a really good video. But Joe, I just, I just don't have time, all right? Now I know how Jackson feels when you're like, oh, you cheat, oh, you're reading comments, oh. I'm gonna say something, you're dealing with it better. You're dealing with it better when you tell Jackson. <laughs> Cut, we'll be back in half hour, once he's calmed down. <laughs> on a level though. That's the first time he said on a level and it's because I just said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Scoot. Get in now. There's no nine. way, there's no way he's taking 9 0. Legitimate points okay, that's there. It, okay. I want a penalty against him for cheating and I want it put in place now. What we'll do, what we'll do. The Nobby Styles one is a bit extreme, isn't it? Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do, right? I'm going to go on my phone now. Yeah. I'm going to get one more uh, guess who. Cool. So are we going 6 0 or 9 0 when you've got another guess who? 6 0 and there's another guess who because you know full and well you asked your mum to submit that. Full and I well. Do. Don't, speak. don't give me those eyes, I'll fight you. Right, oh, I'd love that. <laughs> Clue number one for three points. I completed my Bachelor of Arts in History from the University of Nottingham in 2008. 2008, Nottingham. <laughs> Joe's gone. Any time today, big man. i tell you exactly who it is. Go on. It's John Babylon. Mad team. It's John Bab yes! for so three I'm points. Up! Conspiracy thickens, and do you know why? Because he knew the answer to that, and he'd seen that comment already as well, because he'd read it out in the office. <laughs> oh, prove it. Round two, as always, is the gamble. The boys are given the chance to take any of up to five questions, but they've got to get them all right to get the answers. Joe. Shot. You're behind, oh, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. Who's going first? Well, I'll Rock, be honest. Rock, paper, it. Rock, paper, it. Rock, paper, Why? scissors, show. <laughs> cool. Rock, paper, scissors, go, yeah? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, go. go. Never lose a game. Um, <laughs> you know what? The sharpshoot is dead to me. Yeah. The people have asked for it. The worm's coming back, is he? The worm's not coming back. No? The cobra tried, the cobra failed. 5%. But today, Always oh, chucking the apple. Are you ready? Go on. I've not got one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just say one to five. Oh, five, sorry, but I've not got a nickname. Five. Not got a nickname no today. Nickname just today. Didn't have it. She wasn't coming. I, I, I was thinking. The Calabaster. I, I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the dog, but I thought no. Nah. Then I said the wolf in my head, and then it went the leopard. But you know, Calabaster. All, all I was going to do is this. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Right, ready? Joe, your first question of your five. Who has scored more runs in test cricket? Kumar Sangakkara or Ricky Ponting? Easy. I used to work on the Lord's Cricket Channel. We both did. I don't think it's as easy as you think. I'm going to go Ricky. I'm going to go Ricky Ponting. Mm. Kumar Sangakkara, 12,400 runs. Mm. Ricky Ponting. 13,376. Well thanks, done, Joseph. Thanks, Ricky. Love you, mate. And he moves to question two. Lots of Australian vibes going on today. Joseph, your second question. What comes next in this here oh, sequence? No. Scoot. The bid. <laughs> Neymar, Pogba, Bale, Ronaldo. Ooh. What's next? I mean, I know what it is. I know. It's the, it's the transfer record. Yep. Neymar. Pogba. 
Oh, it's got to be down surely before that. Zizu. Yeah, I will go for Zizu. You know, for Zidane. And the answer is, just because you think you might know it, do you want to give me a shout? Is it Kaka? It is Kaka! Oh. And he goes out of question two. £60 million pound move from AC to Real Madrid. And the reason you messed it up, mate, was because it was in the same season, same summer, as Cristiano. Oh. So that was broke pretty quickly. It's pretty harsh. But it was it? the record. It's pretty harsh. It's almost a trick question, that. No. You I run mean, a football channel. Savile Berry, how many questions would you like to take in the gamble? Um, I'm going to take three. Three, okay, a nice three. Question number Who has won more Wimbledon singles championships? Serena Williams or Roger Federer? Roger the Dodge, it's Roger. I'm telling you now, it's Roger the Dodge. Shut your mouth. It's Roger Federer. Shut it. It's Roger. Roger. <laughs> oh, can you just shush? Federer it was, it was big feds. <laughs> Can you just note down that this is happening right now? I'm fully it aware was, of it. It was the feds. Ref? There's no rule against Stop. it. Stop! Feds. Come on. Okay, it's we will go four. It's Rog. And give me an answer. Roger. <laughs> Serena Williams. Because Serena Williams. Serena Williams has seven Wimbledon singles championships. I think it's Roger then. Rog the Dodge, eight. Only one in it. In his head, the word, back again. Spat so much. <laughs> Deary me. There we have it. As always, no points coming out the gamble. And the scores still stay 6-3. What are you doing? If I had implemented my rules in this round, then I would have got two points off him. I know, we're not doing these more rules. Well, more, potentially more rules coming soon in the future. Okay, we're dropping battery. <laughs> it's, it's the worm. The worm. <laughs> it's the worm. <laughs> Round three this week. First of all, I forgot to do this earlier. We didn't give a shout out to Modern Mexican, who was the person who submitted Lewis Hamilton in the Guess Who round. We'll go back and backtrack for it, because well done, Modern Mexican. Keep sending them in. Boom, boom, Keep your boom, comments boom. coming down below. Round three this week, submitted by Dead Trim. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> submitted by Dead Trim this week, the round three is we're going to blindfold both the chaps, give them a whiteboard each, 30 seconds on the clock, and then I'm going to call out the name of an animal three times. We're going to do it, and they're going to have to draw the animal blindfolded. Cool. Each time they do it, whoever I believe drew it closest to what the animal is, mm -hmm. wins the point. So the boys are ready, as you can see, with their wonderfully fashioned, uh, what are they? Blindfolds, I guess, yeah. kind of. One by Hugo Boss, one by what? I mean, what is that? I don't know, it's some, it's, it's some crap thing some football company sent to me once. There you go, that's the kind of shout outs we give. 30 seconds on the clock. Boys, are you ready to draw the animal? Yeah. Draw that penis. <laughs> Boys, I want you to draw 30 seconds on the clock. A cat. We're off and running. Full on live commentary now as Joe draws something. And Sav is. There's some interesting designs going on here, actually. Joe's might be my favourite thing for, for one key reason. We'll see them in a minute. Sav's done. Wow. And done. There's your time. Excellent. Right. Joe drew the circle for the face and then decided to put none of the rest of the stuff around it. That's all right. That's all right. Sam's looks like a Sam's does look like a skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I would like you both to draw a cow. Oh my God, what do they look like? <laughs> Why don't you draw? You live in Exeter, big man. Why don't you draw a cow at home? And let us know how you get on. Send them in to Art Attack at CITV. This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art attack. Remember that? No? What the Boom. are you drawing? Neil Buchanan that was, so you know, shout out to the boy. Romeo. And two, one. There's your time, boys. Oh God. Okay. All right, I'll this be is this is difficult. I'll be we're just we're gonna start. Well, don't show yours yet. <laughs> First of all, what is that? What is this? Right. That's a joke. What That's is a horse. this? That's not a horse. It's That's just a joke. nothing. It's just nothing. I'll be honest. But I've Joe has carried on his theme I've drawn of the face being nowhere near the rest of the body. Think, think of mine as abstract. I've drawn a dead cow. <laughs> The head's here! Yeah, that? that's better though. But two ears, nose, mouth, eye. I'm gonna animal. give that one to him because I don't know what this is. And I've got the colouring on the Look body. Look at it! I'll be honest, that looks like a kangaroo cross between a cow, cross between a horse. Plus, I, we, if, if I give it to Joe, we get to see one more round of this greatness. Okay, boys. Your third and final drawing of the day. Mm -hmm. Pens at the ready. 30 seconds on the clock. I would like you to draw an eagle. I mean, it looks like an eagle. We just both wasted five seconds not drawing anything. Joe's drawing a paperclip. <laughs> Do you mean I drew a paperclip? Sam's drawing, I think just some mountain. 10 seconds on the clock. Who's coming out on top? We're down to five. Sam wants to know where the feathers are at. Three, two, one, pause. There we go, boys. Okay, right. We'll come to Sav's in a moment. Joe has actually gone to the detail of the bird shitting. Yes! You there's knew a it. beak That's there. The there's, there's a beak, beak there, there's wings. He's actually just about to catch a mouse, look. But more importantly than that, I give you probably the strangest thing I've ever seen drawn. Wait, that spider? <laughs> what, what is this? The thing is, what th this is the difference between me and Joe, evidently. I draw things head on, <laughs> and Joe it's draws head it. On. Yeah. Bro, that looks literally like a, like a spider that's lost its legs. Head on. Five of them. It's got no beak, three. it's got no face, it hasn't even got any legs. Look head on. It, can look it, can at, we just at, give you a moment? Can you explain this? Look at the wind rushing through the feathers. Look at that. Mine has the detail of poo and even catching I don't think you can argue that his is better here. <laughs> Come the points on. for round three this week. Go to Joe and thank you again to Dead Trim for sending that one in. And that brings the scores to 6-5, I believe. Woo! Ric Flair, baby. Woo! Ric Flair, drip, go. Yeah, I don't know the tune. With the scores set at 6-5, to five, we enter round four, which as always is the don't choke round. Yeah. The boys are given the chance to take any of the balls, any of up to five questions, that's the gamble. Any of the balls in the ball bag with a headline from the topic they pick out related. I will then give them that headline. They've got 30 seconds on the clock to talk on said topic. Oh. Phone out for the timer. Mm -hmm. Who's going first? Sav. Sav's going well, first. Well, actually, no. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Sav's going first. Look at that, rejected the rock, paper, scissors. Oh. What is it? What is it? WTF. Oh. There's, your, there's your headline for the, there's your thumbnail. Your, your title. Sav rejects rock, paper, scissors. WTF, Sav. Yeah. I'm going to start the clock as I finish the headline. Sav. Yeah. WTF. Super drug is selling gummy bears that can give you a tan. Talk on it. Now, the man known as Joe Tomlinson and the man most in need of a tan in this world should actually take a trip to Superdrug today, evidently, because they're selling gummy bears that turn you orange, apparently. So, you know, you could be the same colour as his hair all the way down his body. I don't know if it works the whole way down. Do you know the logistics of this? Gummy bears making the whole of your body orange from a tan. Sounds crazy to me, but you know, Superdrug do sell some crazy stuff. Went there, went there the other day with my missus. Bought some crazy stuff. Not gonna lie to you though, I could imagine. I could really imagine like an orange gummy bear giving you a tan. I could really imagine that. There you go, boom. Bang, there it and is. And I lasted the whole thing. How was I supposed to talk about gummy bears turning you into a tanned orange? I would have been able to talk about that a lot better. I was gonna talk about melanin levels. I was gonna talk but about- But it has nothing to do with melanin levels. It so it would have been fake news. Yeah, it, does. it was, it was. First of all, I apologize for me counting down one like this to the camera. <laughs> 
Sorry about Secondly, that. Secondly, we apologise for Sam saying the word crazy 212 times in that. I hope so. I like the way that halfway through it, he sort of turned to me and went, this is mental, isn't it? It's like, I can't <laughs> help you out. It's your time joke round. What do you want me to do? Joe, you're up, mate. Pick us some body. Some body. News of entertainment, and we've written the entertainment on at a later date a later by the looks of that. So that it can carry over, because the celebrity ball was gone this year. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready, Joseph? Probably not. I'm not. Let's get a... Try I'm trying to pair me card I can feel a choke coming. Shall I tell you why? He's done it twice in the last two. He I has, have. actually. I Jesus. have. I have. In not looking head. good for you, mate. In Joseph, head. news and entertainment. Yeah. 30 seconds on the clock. Ben Affleck is being roasted online after photos revealed his huge back tattoo. Talk on it. Yes, Ben Affleck, brother or family member of the Oscar winning Casey Affleck, has come out on social media. I believe it's TMZ. The bastards always get hold of the photos who leaked this one online. And it's of his huge back tattoo. Whether or not it is for a film role is yet to be decided. Nobody really knows, but the social media audience have given him some some stick, that's for sure. They basically said it looks awful, it's gaudy, it's way too big, and it doesn't suit the him. The time is up. Okay. Now, a little bit more on that story. Because <clears throat> your news is extremely old news. Oh. Years ago, people thought, he apparently said in an interview it was because of a role. Role, yeah. And it wasn't real. Oh. That was years ago. But I didn't say whether that it was, was either way. That was years ago. I didn't say it was either way. Years ago, and the news coming out this time is that basically a photo has been taken of him on the beach years later. He's still got this massive tattoo. Oh! And the phoenix coming from the flames or something Impressive. like that. Impressive. So, in terms of knowledge of the story, Tuesday's thinking it's a tough one. Let's see if you can catch this. That was the light. Oh, God, who takes the two points? I'll tell you what, I'm just going to put something up there. We've had draws in the past. And I'll put something else out there. There's no way this is a draw. You didn't have a lot on the top. He of said the word gummy bears you, four times listen, in a row. And then listen. said he took his missus to super drug. Listen, my, I'm going to make the call on this. He stumbled a hell of a lot more than you did. He also looked at me to finish his joke joke round. And asked you a question. First person and went first completely off topic and started talking about you got taking your girlfriend there. Super drug, it's not off topic. Yeah, I'm, I took my girlfriend to meet Ben Affleck. Do you know what? This one is tight. Boom! I'm calling it a draw. There's no points. Utter. There's no points on the board. Joke. No. Robin! 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 What was that? Boom! You guys can vote right up there in the poll, Team Sav or Team Joe, because the next time they face off, Two points will be awarded to whoever won it in the poll. Mm. I will not be awarding any points to either of you because if I give you points or don't give you points, it makes no difference. Because the draw. I was going to say, what happened last time me and Joe went up against each other? Who won that? Oh! Let's find out. One of the biggest industries in the world is the adult industry. Nope. <laughs> Let's face it. These are the kind of adverts Joe gets sent on YouTube. <laughs> Sav with 75% of and the vote. And I'll tell you why, because I choked, didn't I? Yeah. You did choke. 75% ah. of the vote, which means... That means I'm two points. Eight, five. Two points You're three up. points ahead. You were on six, five. Yeah, yeah. It's eight, three five. Points ahead. Yeah. Three Ooh. points ahead. Wow. Grrrr. We enter the final round, the lightning round. Keep putting my phone away. Need the clock. 60 seconds on the clock. There's the worm. Sav just revealing his penis size there. Great banter. Round five is the lightning round and the scores are set. Eight to Savilberry. Joe Tomlinson struggling on five. Yeah, that means Sav goes up first. 60 seconds on the clock, as many answers as you can get correctly. <coughs> I will start the clock. I'm just ignoring the pair of you. I will start the clock when I finish the first question. Sav, are you ready? Yep. Sav, which sportswear brand make the Sambas and the NMDs? Don't know. It's Adidas. Which football team play their home games at the Vicente Calderon? Oh. Don't know, move on. Doesn't know. Who wrote The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn? Don't know. What is the currency of Switzerland? <laughs> it is... Euro. It's the Swiss franc. There is. Who is the all-time top goal scorer for the Netherlands? Robin Van Persie. It is Robin Van Persie! Kent Brockman and Nelson Muntz are both characters from which TV show? Uh, Kent Brockman, I know this as well. Don't know. Go on. It's the <laughs> Simpsons, mate. What is the capital city of Ukraine? Leave it. Uh, it is... Kiev. It is Kiev. Emmental, Roquefort and Camembert. All types of what? Cheese. It is cheese. Earl Simmons is the birth name of which rapper? Uh, DMX. It is DMX. Who plays Luke Hobbs in the Fast and Furious franchise? 
Luke Hobbs. It is Dwayne Johnson. It is Dwayne Johnson. What is the name of New Jersey's NHL team? Don't know. It's the Devils. Which fast food company serves the Angus Steakhouse? Uh. Burger King. It is Burger King and there's your time. Oh my right word. On it. Started slow but came back in a big way. I did way. come back. Came back I in a big back. way. Come back and big I reckon way. that's enough, that is. So, did I get six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine, big draw, ten to win. What would you get? You get big 14. Ask. That's enough for me, that is. I'll just kick back. Eat the rest of me. Come on, Joseph. Believe in me, people, and I'll feel that energy. Take that and rewind it back. Savile Berry's got the beat to make your booty go. Look at that. There it is. 60 seconds on the clock, Joe. How many to draw? I believe it's nine. Which means how many to win? Ten. Ten. Are you ready? I will start the clock when I finish the first question. Joe, which sportswear brand make the Prestos and the Cortez? It's Nike. Is it, it is Nike. Which football team play their home games at the Stade Velodrome? The Velodrome, Lazio. It's Marseille. Who wrote Catcher in the Rye? Uh, Leave him alone. Uh, what is the currency of India? It's the rupee. It is the rupee. Who is the all-time top goal scorer for the Ivory Coast? Uh, Drogba. It is Drogba. Glenn Quagmire and Tom Tucker family are from guy. which is Family Guy? What is the capital city of Sweden? It's Oslo. It's no, Stockholm, Stockholm, mate. Sorry, <laughs> Fedora, Snapback and Panama hats, are types hats. of hats they are. Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. is the name of which rapper? 50 Cent. It's Lil Wayne. Who voiced Gru in the Despicable Me series? Uh, it is Vin Diesel. It's Steve Carell, mate. What is the name of Detroit's NHL team? Uh, pass. Oh, pass. Which fast food company serves the Texas barbecue and the meteor? Uh, Mighty Meteor <laughs> is McDonald's. It's Domino's, mate. Xi Jinping is the current uh, sorry current president. Yes, it is China. Chicago is in which U.S. state? Pass. It's Illinois. Stephanie McMahon is married to which WWE wrestler? Uh, pass. It's Triple H, mate. Bermuda is an overseas territory of which country? US. As your time uh, finishes, and it's Britain. Oh, ooh. which means you got. Let's count this up. Five, China. Five or six. Didn't help. He was, he, he was in my vicinity, which Family, I thought was unfair. Right. Drogba, Rupee, and Nike, oh. which is six. And that brings you to an overall oh score of... Oh what did you get? 11? Oh dear. Point right. is, right. Sav okay. takes the quiz. It's okay. He's got to get out of my vicinity! <laughs> what is going on here? He's got to go out of my vicinity. You, as a referee, you've let yourself down in Australia, now you've let yourself down with that. Thing is, mate, uh, as soon as round five finishes, I'm no longer going to free a couple Joke. Minutes. Joke. More proof that it comes down to your vote in the poll. It does Two come down to your to vote. Two points to Sav, won it for himself. Two points from the one way back when. Yeah. Remember, comment down below with a hashtag guess who to feature in next week's round. And if you're part of Sav's family, make sure, well, I'll make sure he's not in the quiz when we use it going forward. Shout out to Sav's mum. Thank you very much, Lucy. Remember to comment round three ideas for us to use in future ones going forward. Mm. Remember to vote right up there, Team Sav or Team Joe, in the poll. Who do you think won the Don't Choke round? Because they will get two points further down the line. Chaps, like the Instagrams, like all that good stuff, subscribe to the channel, all the stuff. But do we have any final messages for them? I'm disappointed. And I'll see you in like three weeks, Balls Up Nation, because I'm in Dubai. Because you're going to Dubai. Have fun. Love you. We'll probably get a couple of little videos of you. Yeah, you might. There. might. I might get some sexy videos of my white, beautiful body on a beach. White, beautiful body on a beach. Go and watch Agony Uncles. Yes, go watch Agony Uncles, the brand new series here on Balls Up. Yeah. Where we solve your problems. And also, comment down below and tell us your issues that you want us three and the man Dave Jackson to solve for you. Because we're really good at advice, aren't we? Oh, we? It's funny though. So It is funny, yeah. Any yeah. final words? Do you know what else is funny? Let's wrap it up. Four wins, one loss. Done. <laughs>